Well, I've been working on the plane some more, doing some filling and sanding. This is the area I've been concentrating on, uh, trying to smooth out ripples and low areas and so forth. Filling with micro and, and sanding it down. I've been working on this side also, but it's not as bad off as the other. Made some changes in the cockpit I want to show you. One thing I've done is added external gauges to the, uh, the wing tanks. Okay, here we are in the cockpit. We'll turn on the master power. And uh, everything all lit up here. And you've all seen this before. But uh, we'll turn the key switch on. Accessory here. I don't want to actually start the engine, so... And that'll start up the uh, the Dynon HDX 1100, which is a multifunction display, and uh, radio is coming on there too. Got the intercom turned off. That mostly because I don't need it. But anyway, let's see here. Okay, I had to turn the brightness of the sensitivity of the video camera down a lot so I could get my colors. But uh, the main thing I wanted to show you is that I've changed my fuel display there. Doesn't seem to be focusing too well on that. But... Uh, I now have, in addition to the two green lights, which are uh, focused in on the, uh, or I should say, attached to the the uh, float switches in the top of the header tanks. That's what I'm trying to say. Left and right header. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> anyway, I now have two bar graphs above it, and those are attached to the... Uh, the sensor that I showed you a few minutes ago, uh, one on each side in the top of the, the wing, or the straight tanks, actually. And uh, because they're essentially empty, it says zero. Now, these sensors have 10 reed switches in them with, and a floating magnet. So every, roughly every three gallons, it gives an indication, well, there's only about two gallons left in each tank, so it says zero. I don't want to tell me where there's three when there's could be as little as none, or almost none, so I'd rather have it say zero when I've got, you know, like a couple of gallons left. But when there's more fuel in it, they will show red uh, and a level when there's five gallons or less and uh, between five and 10 gallons, they show yellow, and between 10 and 20, well, it'd be 27 gallons in each side, uh, they're showing green, they will show green. So it's a vertical sliding colored scale, and the numbers that are flashing in red and zero right now uh, will give an approximate number of gallons. Of course, I've still got the, uh, uh, the, um, sight gauges in the sides of the tanks too for an actual visual reference. Okay this is uh, the right side, starboard side sight gauge and I've done a little mathematical calculation based on the shape of the tank uh, figuring about how much fuel there is and, and labeling the, uh, the values there. You can see that you know, if the bottom is one, and that includes the uh, the one gallon of fuel in the header tank, then the top is five, and uh, the meniscus is right there in the middle between. So we're we're looking at about two and a half gallons. Now that little ball in the bottom is supposed to float, but it's stuck in the bottom, and that's not a good thing. But we can see the meniscus, and that's that's good too. Okay, so if I switch the screen over so that the uh, primary flight display is on the left 
and the engine screen is on the right, you can see that I still have my uh, my gauges there and the header tanks. The orientation is a bit different, but they're still there. So pretty much the only place I don't have it is when I've got the um, the engine ribbon display below a full screen display. I've still got the uh, header tank float switch indicators on the far left, lower left corner. But so far I don't see where I can squeeze things together anymore to to get the uh, fuel gauges, uh, the uh, float switch, or the floats sensors from the straight tanks displayed. So I guess that's about it. Uh, nothing else has really changed here. Catch you guys later.